The Steve Bannon prosecution and trial revealed the totalitarianism of Pelosi and the Democrats who practiced politicized justice. There are many examples of former Obama officials like Eric Holder, John Brennan, James Clapper, who were not prosecuted for contempt of Congress as they did to Bannon. Of course, on the side of Bannon, Roger Stone, George Papalopoulos, and Peter Navarro have all been prosecuted by the Justice Department, which also gives passes to rioters that Democrats favor. And at the same time, they deny rights to the January 6th defendants. Pelosi praised the Bannon trial, saying it was a model of justice. Alan Dershowitz, noted civil libertarian and law professor, said the jury was biased and the judge denied Bannon a defense. Pelosi also praised the same type of thing in Guatemala. She called Eric Ifan and Hasmin Barrios independent judges fighting against corruption, which is a complete absurdity because these were political judges and their crimes were notorious, but they favored Pelosi's side. This is what the Democrats want for the United States, pack the Supreme Court with the types of judges that Pelosi favored in Guatemala, who can do anything to their opponents while their opponents have no rights. They want to impose a dictatorship on the United States and Guatemala. We better fight against this. We better recognize it. If you want to read more about this, you can look at my author page on BizPack Review and my website, The Impunity Observer.